Hi, <clears throat> Harmony Rose here with another act of soulful self-care. Today, I want to talk to you about water and drinking water mindfully. And out of the 140 acts of soulful self-care that I have in my four books, this is, oh, it, it might be my favorite. It's one of my favorites because uh, I really think this one act of self-care can change your life, can change the lives of all of us, can really help bless the water on the planet. So listen up to some of my ideas. So we all know about Dr. Emoto, and uh, he's a Japanese scientist who did lots of experiments with water, basically blessing water, talking to water, telling water beautiful things, freezing the water, and looking at the crystals under a microscope, finding that all those blessings, all the elevated vibrations made wonderful water crystals. If you look in any of his books, I love you, thank you, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful water crystals. He also um, froze water crystals uh, where people played really hard music and said, I hate you, go to hell, and and then looked and they were ugly. So what is there? The water crystals were ugly. What's there to learn from this? We're mostly water. If we're worrying all the time and we're telling ourselves all these, there's not enough money, there's not enough time, I had a horrible childhood, whatever is going on in that little noggin of ours, you know, that's going to affect us. We are vibrational beings and we're mostly water. So instead, what if we used our water glass as an anchor? Find a glass that you love, a glass that's beautiful. Um, often when I'm home, I, I have this beautiful uh, red goblet that I drink out of. And using something unusual like that is wonderful because it will become an anchor for you. And what do I mean by an anchor? When you look at it, you remember, oh, I'm doing something different here. I'm learning something. What I'm learning is to bless my water and be grateful as I'm drinking. So as we're drinking our water in whatever vessel, water bottle that you choose to say, Thank you for this amazing liquid. Thank you, tongue, for taking this in. Thank you, all the blood that's rushing through my veins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So drinking water mindfully can help bring you present how many times a day? I mean, you're supposed to drink. I'm supposed to drink 64 ounces of water a day. That's a lot of water. So um, I was walking in a village in Ecuador, and I saw children doing their own laundry. And I thought, none of the children that I know and love do their own laundry. Wow, okay, what if we blessed our water as we're doing laundry? Blessing, it means saying thank you. What if we're washing our organic veggies and we say, thank you. Thank you for this water. Thank you for the water I'm washing my dishes with. Thank you, water, that I'm taking a shower. Thank you, water, that I'm bathing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We know that Mother Earth has a lot of challenges right now. So as we are collectively blessing the water, we are blessing ourselves and we are blessing the planet that we live on. So drinking water mindfully really can change our individual lives to have us be more grateful for all we have. Think of everyone who doesn't and then be grateful that you do. So um, drink water mindfully is from my book Celebrate Now. 
this very moment by being grateful. It's available on my website, harmonyrosewellness.com. And I am thankful for you, dear one. Thank you very much for allowing me to share this idea with you today. And I do hope from the bottom of my tootsies that this one act of soulful self-care is something that speaks to you and that you um, may decide to use as a tool to take really good care of yourself. Until next time, namaste.